This is without a doubt the hardest watch I had to film so far. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch and welcome to another review. Today we're going to talk about a watch which I added recently to my collection and it's something very special to me. Today we're going to talk about the Sartori Biard and my latest edition, the SB04 or as this one is nicknamed, the Ghost. As most of you know, I love independent watch prints and this is no exception. Adding an independent watch print to your collection is often expensive and most of the people can't afford it. So having a brand like Sartori Biart, which offers watches below 5,000 euros, is something I really appreciate. Today we're gonna unbox my personal watch, which I got a few weeks ago, and I'm gonna tell you the story behind it. The box is very cool. It's made out of aluminum. It's super heavy. Listen when I put it on the table. And it's actually decorated or finished like a Cote de Genève decoration would be on a movement. And you can see the lines here and also the Sartori BR logo. Let's open up this box now. Usually Sartori BR watches come in wooden boxes, but for this collection or model range, he decided to make a special box, which is fully aligned with the visuals of the watch itself. Here we have the warranty card, which is, you know, stamped with uh, my information, the date of the purchase and also the model name and which number it is. It's a limited edition of 10 pieces, which are all sold out, but you can still make a custom piece, which is similar to the one we'll, you'll see today. So just go on Sartori BR's Instagram and basically drop him a DM. The watch is hidden in this cloth, so let's unwrap it. Here we go. What a beauty. When I got the watch, I made an unboxing on my Instagram channel and many people requested a YouTube video. I was a bit reluctant to do it because it's a very special watch to me and also it's very difficult to film. <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a try and I hope you guys like it. So how this watch came to be is very interesting. Me and Armand Biard from Sato Biard had a conversation on Instagram, talked about, you know, different watches, what would be the possibilities to create a timepiece. And we had the idea of, you know, creating a watch which was mirror polished from all perspectives. Something which I haven't seen before in the watchmaking industry. I first found out about his watches through my friend Amar, aka the Horafal on Instagram. We also made a YouTube video together about his collection, where he showed us his limited edition timepiece. Similar watches to this would be, you know, a Debutune Dreamwatch 5 or a Urwerk and Laurent Ferrier collaboration, the Arpal 1. You have also a dial which Grebel Forsy made, which is, has a similar appeal. That one is made out of white coat and is highly polished and costs around 500,000 Swiss francs. So having a watch which is highly polished or mirror polished in this case, for this price point is unseen before. For those who are curious, it's 3,500 euros, which again, for an independent watch brand, and this type of polishing is just incredible value. When me and Armand spoke on Instagram about this idea, he immediately went and started to create some renderings. When he created the renders, he showed them to me and I was, you know, blown away by it. First of all, I was blown away how quickly he made it because usually when you talk with a watch brand to design a watch, it takes, you know, weeks or months to see a first design. With him, it was basically, I think, even in the same hour or the next hour. Our conversation about the model started around the 17th of May and the watch was delivered to me by the end of December, just before Christmas. The goal which we had, I think, Armand achieved. Everything that you see on this watch is mirror polished, from the case pack to the side of the watch, the lugs, the dial, the hands, even the buckle. All the components are made from grade 5 titanium and then Armand neatly polished them to perfection. What also happened in the process of polishing and, you know, assembling of the watch, sometimes he scratched a component, you know, and then he had to basically redo the whole thing. Again, it's something you don't account in when you create a watch, but it happens and you have to think about the hours you spend on it. I said that the dial works like a mirror, so let's twist it a bit and, you know, see, you see the camera now in the dial. That's the top-down camera I use. And here you can see my face. It's a bit distorted though, you see two images because of the crystal and also the dial. You see, I'm now waving to the watch. <laughs> I really like to play with this and once you do photos, it's amazing because you can play with different textures, different reflections, colors, and the result is usually awesome. 
To go with the whole concept, the hands are also mirror polished and the hour and the minute hand are skeletonized. Some of you might complain that you cannot really read the exact time on this watch. This is more of a concept piece. You don't have to know at the exact time of, let's say, your arrival of your train or your bus or something like that. If you need an accurate time, what I usually do, I just check my phone. Before Armand started making our watches, the 10 pieces, each of the owners had a choice to basically decide, do you want hour markers or do you want a mini track also? So I decided to go with the plain version, which is more of a concept and you just don't have anything on the dial except the hands. I have a fair amount of watches in my collection already and this was definitely something which was missing. I collect watches mostly for the visual appeal and the design aspect and not so much for the precise timetelling functions. As this watch has a very basic time display, you can still gauge what the time is. So I would say now it's 10 o'clock and 12 minutes, then we would go to you know, 15, 30, 45, now it's maybe 50. You see, it's very simple to read after all. Sometimes the watch is a bit harder to read, especially when the two hands overlap, but you just have to turn it a bit and find a nice position. You see, if I turn it like this, it becomes black. If I go in this direction, it's more bright. So essentially, you can find out what time it is. Worst case scenario, whip out your phone. The case is also highly polished from the side as well as the lugs. So the case back and the lugs are actually one part and the front side is the second part. As you see on the back, Arman also put a nice message for me, which I'm gonna now peel off. It reads, Dear Marco Concina, enjoy the ghost, with two ghost emojis. The case pack, and this is the first time I you know, unwrap it basically, is also highly polished and acts like a mirror. So you see my face again. As we wanted to create this concept of the ghost around the whole watch, we also decided to make a closed case pack which is only you know, for the 10 pieces limited edition, which is shaped like a pebble. It's very reflective, you can see clearly my finger now. It's so cool to play with the watch, you can see all the reflections in it. And usually when I look at this watch on my wrist, I don't check out the time. I just try to figure out what the reflection is and what's bouncing off it right now. People might think you're rude because you're looking at the time too often, but just explain to them that you're just a freak who loves watches and you have to check it out each second. Let's now play with the focus of the top-down camera a bit and try to focus on the ceiling of the studio right now. See? <laughs> this is the fun thing about the mirror polished case pack. Essentially, it's like a mirror. So let's now go on my eye and see if we can focus on that. Here it is. See? This is the true artistic mirror polishing in its best. I can also check out if I have something between my teeth. All good. <laughs> Powering this watch, you have an automatic movement from Swiss Technology Productions, the Caliber STP3-13. It has a bi-directional winding rotor, 44-hour power reserve, swan neck regulator, and the best of all, hacking seconds. As soon as I got the watch, I took the opportunity and we went to Gstaad where we saw the Mirage house. It's a mirror house made by Doug Eitkin and the idea is the similar as the watch, so I just had to take a few photos of it. I'm gonna put the watch on the wrist and show how it fits me. It has a very comfortable fit, I have to say. The buckle, which has the Sartori BR logo on it, is also highly polished and also made out of titanium. The strap I chose from my model is, has a plaster color and is very soft and thin, which I really like. The thickness of the watch is 11 millimeters, so it can slide under the cuff with no problem. The diameter is 40 millimeters, and lug to lug, we have 45 millimeters. The crown is very easy to use, it's riveted, polished, and has the Sartori BR logo on it. When I turn the watch, you can see that also the side of the case, or the bezel, which here is very thin or almost non-existent, is a bit stepped. I'm super happy that I added this watch to my collection, and every time I show it to somebody, they just can't believe what they're looking at. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the Sartori BR Ghost and if you would buy a watch like this for yourself. Like and share this video and also subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out a lot. And also if you have a suggestion for independent watch brands which you want to see on my channel, leave a comment down below, below 10k or above, it doesn't matter. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week.